Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's that time of the month where I share with you what I got in my P.O. box. This is a show us your sheet load feature and just a viewer happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Once a month, I like to stop by and share with you the cards that I have received in my P.O. box for the month. A lot of these cards will be part of the show us your sheet load feature, which if you don't know about that, there are a few ways that you can share a look at your sheet load of cards with us. You can do a YouTube video, an Instagram post, or you can send in a card for me to share here at the end of the month. If you are interested in doing that, I will link the video below with all of the instructions. But like I mentioned, this is mainly the show us your sheet load feature, but every once in a while I get a subscriber who sends me in a card just because. And this month I actually had one of those slips that say you need to go to the counter and look in the back here. I'm not sure what Diana sent me, but I'm excited to find out. What I started doing a couple months ago is just sharing photos on screen and talking about the cards that have came in. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So this first picture is actually of some cards that I got to my home mailbox just from various friends and family members. On the left, Teresa of Scrapping for Less ended up sending me the die set that would come with the banana split for this month's Flavor of the Month kit. I just thought as part of the guest design team, I didn't get it, but I am so anxious to use it. And I just love the little card she sent with the little kitty peeking out of the window. In the center was a card my friend Danny gave me. We met for a socially distanced picnic last week and it was so great to see her. And I don't know if you can tell here on screen, but the glasses on the girl on this card, she used, oh, what's that called? Um, crystal effects or I can't think of what it's called, but they're actually like kind of glassed over. It's so adorable. And then on the right, my mom sent me a little note in a card that she made using last month's paper pumpkin kit. Linda H. of Maryland sent in this adorable children's birthday card and she used the July 2020 sheet load of cards. And it's a little hard to tell on screen, but these stars are super, super sparkly. It's like they're glittered, but it doesn't feel like glitter. Linda, will you let me know below who makes these stars? I might have to check them out. Karen H. of Hawaii sent in this whale done card. I just love that adorable water pattern paper. And then that whale is so darn cute. Thanks so much, Karen. Naomi H. of Minnesota sent in the next two cards. On the left, I am in love with this pattern paper. And Naomi, I know you said in your note that that paper came from Hobby Lobby. Could you leave a comment below with the name of the paper pad? I might have to see if I can find that online. And then on the right, she has made a gorgeous patriotic card. And I just love the sentiment, which she said is from an Etsy seller. Thanks for sharing those, Naomi. Jennifer D. from California sent me five envelopes this month and they contained five beautiful cards. She is really going back to some oldies but goodies with sheet load and she says that she is getting caught up on all of them. I'm so glad you sent these in Jennifer and I'm glad that you're enjoying sheet load of cards. As always, if you want to find old videos, I do have a playlist linked in the description box below that has all of the sheet load of cards videos. I was so surprised that while I was opening up the cards from my P.O. box, I saw that my friend Danny, who sent me a card in that first photo, also sent a card to my P.O. box. I think maybe I've mentioned a few times to her how much I love to go there and find cards. Thank you so much, Danny. I absolutely adore this little girl image. It is perfect. I love stamps too. 
This next card is from my sister Lisa in Iowa and not only did she send me a card using the July 2020 sheet load of cards but she also sent me some of the rosettes that she made. She got a fun new stamp set and last month she was a rosette making fool with those. So I'm glad that I have some that I can use on a card now. Thanks Lisa! Janet R. from Texas sent in this gorgeous card. I love the white, yellow, and black, and the patterns on those papers are just stunning. It's hard to tell on screen, and actually now that I'm looking at the picture you probably can't even, but the black card base is embossed with this beautiful, it's almost like those metal tile texture. It is so gorgeous. Thank you Janet for sending this in. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in this little cute friendship card and she wrote me a very nice note inside and she let me know that she is new to sheet load and what's even more awesome is I'm the first YouTuber she has subscribed to. I want to say a great big thanks to her and for everybody who does go ahead and subscribe so they can download my PDF file. I totally appreciate that and Yvonne I hope that you continue to make lots of sheet loads of cards. Thanks for sending this in. Nancy L. from Iowa sent in this next beautiful floral card. I am loving that purple and yellow together and that sentiment is excellent for any kind of card just to say hi. Nancy could you let me know below what company makes that and maybe the name of the set? That is great. Nancy also wrote in her note that she is organizing a binder with all of the sheet load of cards and I might need to take Nancy's advice and do that because mine are a mess. Thanks Nancy for sending in the card. Anita T from Canada sent in the four gorgeous cards you see on the screen now. They all use the July 2020 sheet load of cards. I especially like how that bottom one is turned. The two in the top left are Christmas cards and I love those non-traditional colors. She said that those were the ones that she made as a true sheet load and then the other two she made using just scraps that she had. That is a great idea for the sheet load sketches. And since you asked, my mom's visit was awesome. We had a great time. Thanks for sending the cards in and thanks for your note. Janet Ayala of Tennessee sent in this treasure trove of five cards and if you check on screen now I did put her full name usually I just do first name and last initial to protect the subscriber um, but she has just started a YouTube channel and she will be sharing the first week of each month sheet load samples so I wanted you to have her full name because her channel name is Janet Ayala in case you want to go check her out. Janet sent in three cards using the July 2020 sheet load of cards. That is the top left and the bottom two. And then also in the top middle, she shared a card using the March 2020 sheet load. And on the right at the top is from October 2019. Thank you so much for sending these in Janet and good luck with your YouTube channel. And last but certainly not least is Diane S. of Maryland. Not only did she send me in this magnificent card using the July 2020 sheet load of cards, but she has shared some of the Press Petals specialty designer series paper from Stampin' Up! along with these beautiful die cuts. Diane, this was over the top. It was definitely unnecessary, but I do sincerely appreciate it. I cannot wait to use these beautiful papers and these gorgeous shiny die cuts you sent. Thank you so much, Diane. Wow, wow, wow. Was that not just a parade of beautiful cards? Thank you so much to all of you who took the time to make and send me a card. I just love it each week when I go there and there's something waiting for me. And not only do I love to see your beautiful work, and I'm also very grateful for any little extras you send me, but I think my favorite part is some of the notes that you write me. Sometimes when I think, oh, what am I doing sheet load for? Nobody really wants it. It's not needed. Not that the world needs sheet load, but it is nice to read your notes and see how much you enjoy it. And it just makes me want to keep going. 
If you did enjoy today's video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.